One of the problems uh, when people are uh, not being entirely honest is they start making stupid mistakes. And Boris, of course, made stupid mistakes. Suella Bravman has made stupid mistakes. I'm not saying these people are intrinsically dishonest, but today Rishi Sunak has said something completely incoherent. Let me let me repeat exactly what he said, and I'd love you to tell me whether or not you th you agree with me that it is incoherent. He's respond. He was down in Dover. He was on a little boat and looking very sweet in a sort of um, overalls. And um, uh, he said uh, he was also responding to the problem with people striking, with refugees sitting outside a hotel because they were frustrated at having to share rooms with people they didn't know and having to share uh, unsanitary, it was insanitary, it, definitely insane, but um, unsanitary uh, um, washing facilities and loos. And um, he said, we're making more efficient use of hotels by asking people to share rooms where it's appropriate to do so, as if this is something new. No, people have been sharing rooms in hotels really since the beginning of Bravman's um, tenure. And then he says, if you're coming here illegally, claiming sanctuary from death, torture or persecution, then you should be willing to share a taxpayer-funded hotel room in central London. Now, what I want to know is, is he saying that everybody who is coming here claiming sanctuary from death, torture or persecution is also coming here illegally? Or is he saying that there is a parity between those people who are coming here illegally and those people who are claiming sanctuary from death, torture or persecution? That's what I'm not really very sure. I think it's sloppy English, but he may indeed be suggesting that anybody who is daring to claim sanctuary, anybody who is daring to claim asylum, is actually illegal. That would be very worrying if that's what he's actually saying. And if he's saying that, then he's then he's effectively denying uh, the British tradition of offering asylum and granting asylum to people who need it. Uh, I'm not advocating here an open doors policy. I'm advocating a policy where the Home Office does some work. And I'm also advocating a policy where the government tells the truth. But this sort of sloganising, sloppy sloganising, this is the sort of stuff that belongs in Russia. Now, uh, an, an interesting point, we cite, um, and we can repeat, phrases from the great speeches of history, going all the way back to Shakespeare and before. We can, uh, uh, we can even cite some American speeches from history. Can anybody cite a politician's speech from Russian history? No, they can't. Because for some bizarre reason, nobody makes any speeches worth worth remembering. Uh, it's as if Russian politicians have no sense of rhetoric. And can you can you cite a speech by um, Rishi Sunak? I think you can't. You can cite a speech by. Boris, you can laugh at a speech by Liz Truss. You might even be able to cite a speech by David Cameron. It'd be very boring. But you can't cite a speech by Rishi Sunak. I find that rather regrettable. And now he's producing a sort of incoherent sentence, which is worthy of so many of the incoherent sentences of Mr. Putin. Is he in the wrong country?